good evening everybody today i am going to tell about target delineation in hippocampus so it is very important when you are planning for the whole brain rt to for the uh, uh, hippocampal sparing uh, which means for the uh, cognitive and memory preservation so hippocampal contouring is a, it is at last you can find in rtg 0933 protocol binay uh, gondi is the uh, author and when you are comparing about the whole brain rt hippocampus evidence two names come to to mind binay gondi and paul de brown so this is the rtog is nrg 0 cc 001 phase 3 protocol for the hippocampal evidence with memantin so when you are asking for the um, um, protocol for the uh, mri protocol for the um, uh, um, hippocampus we most important is the 3d fs feature sequence that is the g g and mpre sequence in the siemens so this is the two th three one thing we have to find out and this slide you have to give to your radiologist mri brain brain contrast double contrast for mets t1 t2 player 3d fs feature no gap no tilt neutral neck 1 mm slice 512 matrix so this uh, uh, sequence is uh, this uh, image protocol is required for the Uh, whole uh, hippocampal contouring. So MRI CT fusion should be done properly to con because CT you cannot find properly the uh, uh, hippocampus. MRI should taken as a three mm slice, a one mm slice or one point two five mm slice. Uh, same thing in the, the CT simulation for MRI. There is no mask required. CT you need a mask, and you have to fuse the all those things and then start contouring. in general pimple school whole hippocampal contouring uh, control hippocampus should not be contoured subgranular zone must be contoured contour of the hippocampus on t1 weighted mri xtl sequences you have to do given the importance of the gray matter in the hippocampus focus contouring in t1 hypointense area medial to the temporal horn so remember temporal horn quadrigeminal system hypointense area posterior medial part the, this four lines if you remember hippocampus compass contouring is very simple so when you are going for the contouring you go from the caudal to cranial from the temporal lobe so you, this is called temporal horn of the lateral ventricle medi posterior medial to that this is the uh, hypointense area this hypointense area is very imp important if you can see if you go to the upper slices you can see this hyper in hypointense area hypo intense area that is important you have to contour you should not contour anterior this is called amygdala this is called oncus this amygdala post and supramedial part should not be contour and this anterior medial posterior medial part should be contour and posterior to the posterior medial part this is called fimbria that also not to be contour the the thing is start from the temporal horn posterior medial part should be contour go up, up and up anteriorly the amygdala and oncus should not be contour go up and up go and up and up the contour this will call the quadrigeminal system this is called a quadrigeminal system this quadrigeminal system uh, when it finishes your contour finishes so go up, up and down up and up 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 so this hypointense area when it finishes and starts up fimbria so this till here you can you should contour so the, remember this hypointense this is quadrigeminal system posterior medial part of the um, uh, temporal horn should be contoured remember amygdala oncus lies anterior anterior to the temporal horn that is called uh, that is area is supramedial part you should not contour so this is very easy to contour and this is the uh, part of the basal ganglia no need to worry so you have to contour from the lower part of the temporal horn posterior medial till the fini quadrigeminal system to upper border of quadrigeminal system so this is the thing we have to control if you go to the axial and coronal slices as rela sagittal and coronal slices it looks like a banana shape you have to give 0.5 cm margin around the hippocampus this is called hippocampus evidence zone the green is hippocampus evidence zone and red is the hippocampus it like a solid obliquely placed banana like structure hypointense area in this area so this is the anterior is the body anterior the head middle is the body posterior is the tail so this is the this is the amygdala part should not be contoured 
this is the parahippocampal gyrus and phonix is should not phonix should be controlled should not be controlled so if you want to contour all these things you have to follow some rtg protocol or energy cc001 protocol if you want to use uh, memantine start memantine 20 mg per day within 3 days of initiation of radiotherapy and continue for the 24 weeks so what should be the constraint for that d median is 7.8 gray d100 is the 10 gray d and d100 percent less than 10 gray d max is 15.3 gray uh, uh, those having survival more than six months. So these are the various uh, protocols. Your PTB 30 day, if you are planning, D2% less than 37.5 gray, D98% more than 25 gray, D30 gray more than 95%. So this is the things we have to uh, see in the PTB coverage. Bilateral hippocampus 100% dose should be less than 9 gray and Dmax should be less than 16 gray. This is the that is a point zero three six. So this is has to be remember. This is the protocol you give your physicist. They will plan accordingly. Remember this. My D max is around thirty seven point five gray. Uh, two per D two two percent is the thirty seven. So it is slightly higher according to the protocol. So this is the things. The hippocampus is eight gray and this area is the thirty gray. So this hippocampal avoidance zone has to put point five centimeter area around the hippocampus to. Uh, uh, get the lesser dose the hippocampus. In a holistic approach, we should contour the cochlea, parotid, optic apparatus, lacrimal gland, dispatch structures, skull, 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 because people are, because in the targeted area, immunotherapy area, patients are living long. So, go for a holistic approach in whole brain RT. Thank you very much. I will show you practicality and plan and contouring in next two minutes. So you can see here, this is a city, our city scan planning city. So this is planning city. Everything is controlled here. This is the planning city. Now, this is, a, you, you load as a secondary. This is a MRI. This is the MRI where hippocampus and everything done. How you will tell, I will let you know. will structure after only hippocampus. One hippocampus I switched on. So, see, I will, I will control the left and I will show you the right. So, the thing is that this is called FS figure sequence. This is the, if you go down, if you go slight up, this is called temporal horn. This is called temporal horn of the left ventricle, lateral ventricle. So, posterior medially, there is a hypointense area. So, this is hypointense area. You can see here. So, this is hypointense area. You have to control. This supramedial part should not be controlled. So, here we control the left. You can go up and up. You see this hypointense area to be controlled. This hypointense area to be controlled. This is the um, quadrigeminal system. This is the hypointense area. You have to control. You can go. This is the control. This is the control. You have to control. You have to control. So if they, then I have to. If you see, I can control. This is the called hippocampus controlling. Hypointense area, posterior medial part, from the temporal horn to the quadrigeminal system, superior part is the uh, sufficient for the controlling. You have to give 0.5 centimeter around this area. It is called hippocampus avoidance zone to get the proper dose to the. Area. So this is called hippocampal avoidance at 0.5 centimeter. Now I will show you the planning. So this is the uh, this uh, uh, green area is the 30 gray, and this is the hippocampus avoidance and how it looks like and. Uh, uh, So this is uh, how hippocampus avoidance zone looks like. So, so this is the hippocampus banana-like structure, and that area uh, we can uh, uh, plan um, uh, uh, polar or according to your physics compatibility. 
we can plan now we will go to the dvs statistics so dvs statistics you see so hippocampus zone uh, as i told your dmax should be around 9 eh, sorry dmax around should be less than 15 gray uh, so it is here is a 13 gray if you put the 0.3 0.03 cc. It is around 12.30 gray. Good, good achieve. And mean dose should be less than 10 gray or 9 gray. So this is the thing. And if you do the uh, physics, um, uh, this is the uh, 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 but maximum dose is the 37 gray here. And mean uh, mean dose is 32 gray. And uh, two two cc is 30.5 30.5 35.23 gray and uh, and 30 gray is around 95.58 so this is the thing part we have to i am going to I, I i have shown you here today so this is called hippocampus evidence zone so remember four things at last temporal horn posterior middle part um, squadriginal system superior part of the quadrant is the last slice if you have to go from top, bottom to top thank you very much